Okay, grow the farm up. We're doing a post crimp look. This is what the field looks like about four days after crimping. Now let's take a look here. Corn plant. Corn plant just emerging. Corn plant. Corn plant. Corn plant. Corn plant. From what I understand, you want to crimp it just right before it emerges, and you can see no harm done. Now check this out. I made about two revs with the pivot, and good moisture. I mean, that sticks to your... Wow. Wow. We actually are able to retain and hold down moisture out here. No way. Look at that. Boy, that's good. Good moisture. Then that's what I was going for, trying to hold down this moisture. You know, like you can see how nice and moist it is underneath this layer. It's going to hold some weeds back. That's going to be nice. It's going to hold some moisture in, you know. Corn plant, corn plant, corn plant, corn plant. They're looking good. That humic looks like it did some good in furrow, definitely. Definitely did some good. So I've got a couple shorts of the crimper running that if you haven't seen yet, check on my channel and you can watch the crimper itself actually running. We're about done crimping. My brother did most of it and I haven't had a lot of time to get video of it, but I do have some. So if I haven't uploaded it yet, I will be uploading it shortly. Make ourselves like a little soil health series here. All right, grow the farm up.